Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is the Grand Wizard of a white supremacist hate group called the Ku Klux Klan. Mrs. Wizard, how nice of you to join me. <laughs> Mrs. I'm a man, you camel riding carpet kisser. Didn't you read my bio? Peace be upon me. Unfortunately, I couldn't read your bio because, as everyone knows, I can't read. I assumed you were a woman due to your lovely white burqa. And now you look at here, Muhammad. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, namely to proclaim the superiority of the white man. Well, this is going to be a short conversation. You don't tell me how short the conversation is going to be, you kebab munching Ishmaelite varmint. If I say we're going to talk about the superiority of the white man, then we're going to talk about the superiority of the white man, dagnabbit. Mrs. Wiz Mr. Wizard, I think you misunderstood. What I meant is that if you're here to proclaim the superiority of the white man, I'll simply be praising Allah and nodding in agreement. Wait, why would you agree with me when you are an Arab? Or what we in the clan community call a sand. Mr. Wizard, please look at the photograph on the screen. This is a picture of Sheikh Mohammed Al Yakubi, my great, 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 great grandson. Tell me, how does he look to you? White, I reckon. White? Darn white. Like Opie Taylor grew up and converted to Islam. Alhamdulillah. Now how do I look to you? White. White? Granny slapping white. So white that we could probably turn off all these studio lights and still record you. Alhamdulillah. Mr. Wizard is starting to understand what my companions made perfectly clear. They testified that I am white with an elegant face. White with an elegant face? Peace be upon me. White with an elegant face. They also referred to me as this white man. This white man? Alhamdulillah. This white man. They couldn't stop talking about my white complexion. Your white complexion? Peace be upon me, my white complexion. They wanted everyone in the world to know about the whiteness of my shins. The whiteness of your shins? Alhamdulillah, the whiteness of my shins and the whiteness of my thigh. The whiteness of your thigh? Peace be upon me, the whiteness of my thigh and the whiteness of my leg. The whiteness of your leg? Alhamdulillah, the whiteness of my leg and the whiteness of my stomach. The whiteness of your stomach? Peace be upon me, the whiteness of my stomach and the whiteness of my forearms. The whiteness of your forearms? Alhamdulillah, the whiteness of my forearms and the whiteness of my cheeks. The whiteness of your cheeks? Peace be upon me, the whiteness of my cheeks and the whiteness of my armpits. The whiteness of your armpits? Alhamdulillah, the whiteness of my armpits. <laughs> Great googly moogly, you, sir, are indisputably the whitest prophet in the history of whiteness. But tell me, why do so many men and women of the M darker persuasion follow your religion it's simple really islamic preachers in the west don't tell them that i bought owned sold and traded black african slaves and that my followers institutionalized black african slavery more than a thousand years before the united states even existed 
Did you say that you, the prophet of Islam, personally bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves? Alhamdulillah, I had male and female slaves. And in case you're interested, in Al-Islam, we're allowed to have sex with our female slaves. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Y'all get to have black women as sex slaves? Allah knows best. And do you know what I call Ethiopians? I reckon you call them Ethiopians like everybody else. No, I call them Raisin Heads. Raisin Heads? Alhamdulillah. Raisin Heads because their heads look like raisins. <laughs> what a perfect nickname for Ethiopians. Did you know that I told my followers that Satan looks like a black man? Satan looks like a black man? Peace be upon me. He looks exactly like a black man. Well, bless your heart. Islam is the only religion that understands the proper place of the black man. Are you ready to take your shahada? Oh, I just go to my outhouse for that. Or maybe to some bushes. No, no. The shahada. The sh what now? The shahada is where you declare that there is no God but the great God Allah and that I am his messenger. By reciting the shahada, you agree to dedicate your entire life to living and thinking and walking and talking and dressing and shaving and going to the bathroom exactly as I say. Now you wait just a cut and pick a minute there, sir. As much as I can appreciate your wonderful whiteness and all your get her done know-how on enslaving the black man and convincing him to praise you for it, I ain't reciting no shahada until you answer me one question. Ask me anything, Mr. Wizard. What, pray tell, are y'all Muslims gonna do about them thar Jews? Did you say... Jews? You're gosh darn right I said Jews. What are you gonna do about them? Well, if your problem is the Jews... You've come to the right place, my friend. I have? Peace be upon me. In the Quran, the great God Allah says that the Jews, along with idolaters, are the worst enemies of Muslims. The great God Allah also declares that the Jews, along with the Christians and idolaters, are the worst of all creatures. They're lower than pigs. The great God Allah even orders us to violently subjugate all Jews and to force them to hand over their shekels. In fact, in Al-Islam, the judgment will not come until Muslims slaughter Jews wherever we find them, forcing the Jews into hiding. But when they hide, even the trees and the rocks will cry out, there's a Jew hiding behind me. There's a Jew hiding behind me. Come kill him. And we will. Well, sir. You have made me happier than a Mississippi tick on a fat dog. I didn't know that there was a religion out there that's such a perfect fit for the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Are you ready to convert, Mr. Wizard? Yes, sir, Jim Bobcat Tail, and you can dot the eye on that one. Then repeat after me. La ilaha il Allah. Quite power. Muhammadu Rasul Allah. What power! Alhamdulillah! I've never heard a new convert with such perfect pronunciation of the Shahada. Sir, if you could see under this hood, I am grinning bigger than a possum eating a sweet tater. And I'm finally beginning to understand why our leaders titled our handbook the Cloran. I'd like to give you my personal copy. Why would you give me a copy of the Quran when, as everyone knows, I can't read? Guess what? I can't neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been an amazing interview. 
I blow up my guest unless they agree with me completely. But you're the first guest who's ever been on the show who agrees with me completely. We agree on everything. Well, I guess there's no use for my detonator. Anyone who doesn't subscribe to this channel will become one of my wives in paradise. I will kiss you like I kissed the black stone. Mm -hmm. All right, we got everything. We're good. Good, then I can finally get out of this because it is hotter than two frogs humping in a frying pan. But wait, there's more. You've laughed. You've learned, you've liked and commented, but the fun doesn't have to stop. Click here for more episodes of Muhammad's Boom Boom Room.